Happy Wealth Wednesday. Boalia Desmond here. Thank you for tuning in. So I hope you were able to bless somebody today by doing an act of kindness, being able to maybe support a missionary, support a cause, uh, donate to a GoFundMe, or just being able to pay it forward in some for somebody's lunch while you are in line or when you when you are at a restaurant. So I titled my message today, Managing Pressure and Stress. This uh, message was inspired by a training that I was able to listen to at work the other day. And of course, we all deal with pressure and we all deal with stress. So I thought it'd be a good one to talk about tonight. And, um, you know, really what's important, though, is because we all deal with pressure and because we all deal with stress, we need to figure out the triggers. It's so important for us to know what is triggering these things. So if you're in a workplace, what are some of the things that can trigger um, this pressure? Time pressure, right? You have deadlines. You've got a time frame that you're given a project or a task and then having to be able to complete that and sometimes causes pressure. If your phone is ringing and you've got people walking into your office, you've got all kinds of little distractions that can cause um, pressure as well. So tight deadlines, not being prepared for a task, um, work overload, which if you're working in corporate America, you know that um, people are being constantly downsized, but the amount of work is still the same. You're wearing eight different hats, doing five people's um, jobs, but you're still, um, the workload still remains the same. So that can cause a lot of pressure, can't it? And then trying to ple be a people pleaser. Maybe you're trying to please your coworkers and you're trying to please your boss. And that, you know, that always is a recipe for disaster because at one point or another, you're going to crack. That causes a lot of pressure, which can then cause a lot of stress. So what else? Pressure, when it becomes stress, guess what it does? It causes distractions. And when you're distracted, you can't focus. So very important to understand the triggers. What is happening that is causing this pressure and causing the stress that's in your life? So things that you can ask yourself. Why? What is making me stressed? You know, what is it that is really making me stressed and why am I anxious you know do you ever feel anxious ask yourself why am I anxious and try to try to plot out your day and try to focus on really what is happening through the day what is it at what point are you getting anxious at what point are you getting stressed out being able to identify that so that you can help yourself either through breathing exercises or through something that can help you um, and then identify what's important not every single thing has the same level of importance, right? You can have a list of things to do. Are they all important? No. Ask yourself, can something wait until tomorrow? What could be the effects of me waiting on a project or waiting on a task? You know, is it detrimental? Is it something that is, is an absolute must do today? And being able to wean out some of those things and just focusing on the things that are important can cause less pressure and less stress on you. So if you're upset about a situation, asking yourself, was the situation upsetting or was it my interpretation of the situation? Sometimes we can have an interpretation of something that we make so much bigger in our minds when really if we can just talk about it or talk it through with someone, we can realize that maybe it really wasn't that um, we maybe uh, put the pressure on ourselves more than it should have been. Okay, so three steps to managing your reaction to stress. Try to notice your automatic thoughts. Identify the distortions where you're exaggerating things. And then explore the reasoning behind the thoughts, behind your thoughts. What, you know, why am I thinking a certain way? You know, are things being triggered really by people or by my circumstances or is it just that you know I'm so overwhelmed that I'm causing in my mind these things to be bigger than they are so dealing with pressure and understanding the triggers focusing on what is it that's triggering asking yourself the questions and then um, allowing yourself to be able to manage your reactions so I thank you for tuning in and I will see you tomorrow <music>